there's a saying. It's learned by experience and proven true time and time again. When you go to Alaska, you get your ass kicked. The crew was called by that big land mass that hangs over the meanest parts of the Pacific. The land that was beat up by the sea, blasted by the wind, and carved apart by glaciers. It's rugged and unsettled, and just too damn stubborn and completely unwilling to give up its own wildness. Something that each of the guys could identify. When you fly to Alaska, you get your jaw dropped before you even get off the plane. The views out the window look like postcards you could send back home to mom. Just before landing, the guys spotted a winding river that looked fishy. Outside of Lucas, none of the guys had ever even caught a salmon, so in reality, they had no idea what they were talking about. They quickly unpacked, grabbed their fishing rods, and took off in search for that fishy river. With the parking lot full of cars and well-marked trails, the guys quickly realized that their secret river was no secret at all. The river was filled with retired anglers and expensive waders, with as many Velcro pockets as they had fishing stories. It didn't look like any of them were catching any fish. So when Matt landed the trip's first salmon, the guys had to muffle their stoke into polite whispers to avoid bumming out any of the geriatrics. On the board. With Matt on the board, the guys decided to find a new spot with less foot traffic, where they could let out some real hoots and howls. They figured the old muddy road through the dense forest outside of town towards the coast was a good place to start. Oh look, the ocean, and waves. Who cares, back on the muddy trail. The guys had a mean case of salmon fever, and the only cure was more salmon. I'm gonna walk back. Oh, come back this way. Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> this is a good better, one, dude. This is a better one. Yeah. There you Oh, yeah! There he is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. oh freaking <laughs> daddy! That's a hog, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my hogness. Got him? Yeah. Dude, welcome to Hogville. <laughs> oh yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, baby. I gotta feel my fantasy coming through.
The next morning, the crew was on a search for surf. The plan was to load up the skiff with surfboards, wetsuits, and fishing rods, and motor across the bay to a little island, park next to the rusty shipwreck, and walk across the island to the other side where they should find a reeling left point break. Sure enough, it was flat as a board. Must have been the wrong tide, or the wrong swell direction. Who knows? Who cares? The rods are in the boat and it's time to fish. In Alaska, the weather can change. And the weather can change fast. Well, it started raining and it didn't stop for three days. in the cold, followed by a long boat ride getting pelted in the face by cold wind and rain. Levi was thinking, damn, I could have been an Indo right now. days on the boat in the rain turned into long days on foot patrol in the hail. Maddie the salmon whisperer was on again, but this time, as if an omen, as soon as the salmon met the net, the hail stopped. The sun peeked out of the clouds and a big rainbow appeared behind me.
The sun's shining and the cooler's full of fish. The guy said, let's go to the beach and surf and cook a salmon over the fire, like cavemen. Surfer cavemen. There's a moose. Where is he? Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, we're losing some onions, baby. Mountains to the evening. Slave away all day for minimum wage. When the sun goes down in the living stone, six pack. For weeks leading up to the trip, the crew dreamt about scoring this giant mile-long sandy point break that wrapped around the entrance of the giant fjord bay thing. With the swell peaking, they figured today was the day. They knew there would be a 12-foot tidal change and the current would be ripping, so they planned to surf on an incoming tide so they didn't get sucked out to sea. They walked way up the point and jumped in. Levi snuck into a right at what they thought was a left point break, as the rest of the guys got helplessly sucked down the point in a raging tidal river of disappointment. It was a long, humiliating, and sad walk back up the point after not even catching a wave. <laughs> Unwilling to give up, Lucas and Hayden said, let's go get the logs and give it another go. Hayden didn't want to put on his wet wetsuit, said he'd trunk it. Shouldn't be a problem, he does Wim Hof breathing. The next day called for buttery calm conditions, so the crew set out to motor further down the coast than they had previously dared to go. They had their eyes on a river mouth down the coast Lucas found on Google Maps on his phone. luck and sufficient navigation skills the crew pulled up to the river mouth absolutely jugged with fish oh, oh my god it's chewing that was so <laughs> sick <laughs> it's biting it, it was in an hour that was we're all on 
Hey boys, what's going on here? All four, baby. What's up? <laughs> I got one. You guys just let this go. ride back, the crew couldn't help but be amazed by their surroundings. A rugged landscape that can teach you something. Where you're forced to live in the moment, to stay focused while surrounded by wildness. Watch your step, respect those rough seas and raging rivers. But every once in a while, you lift your head, get your bearings and take stock. Breathe in that fresh air and let those mighty mountains make you feel small. And the deep, deep blue 